What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're going to check out a new extension designed to draw stairs inside of SketchUp. So I will note that this extension has been voted on by my supporters on Patreon. Um, Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you want to vote on the extensions that I cover every week, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this week's extension is called Maj Stair. You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. It is a free extension. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some of the things you can do with this extension. So it's designed for creating different kinds of stairs. Note that there are, um, there's a link to a video here that'll kind of walk you through some of the kinds of steps you can create, as well as some information down below as to how this whole thing works. But I'll give you kind of an overview. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into SketchUp and we're gonna load the extension. And so once you've loaded the extension, it's gonna show up under your extensions drop down right here under Maj Stair. And so what this is going to do is it's going to pop up a little window that allows you to set your stair information. And so you can either set your stair based on total overall height or by riser. So you can create this by riser and then set your riser height in here as well. So you could set your uh, stair riser. You could also do a total height and then this will just fill in the risers that way. So for now, let's go ahead and let's do a total height of, we'll call it 96 inches. So you can also set with this little drop down if the stair goes up or down. So if you're starting from the high point or the low point of the stair. And then there's also some multiple stair types, which we'll talk about in just a second. And so the way this works is you're gonna click on this button right here for draw stair. That's gonna activate the tool and you can see how the information shows up down here. So your height, your number of steps, and your risers. And so what we're gonna do in order to activate this tool is you just click once to set your base point. You set a width either by typing in a value or clicking again, then you move your mouse to click a third time. One thing I don't really like about this is it doesn't inference very well to the axes. So I usually recommend that you draw in a line um, kind of delineating where your stair goes. But once you have this kind of set the way that you want it, you can double click and it's gonna create your stair. So fairly simple, right? And so there's a number of different kinds of stairs that this can create. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a line for each one of these and we can just look at the different types. So the first stair we've already talked about. So the first kind of stair is just gonna be kind of a solid stair with steps in here. So, and remember you can come in here and set this by riser height if you want to, but let's run it again. And this time take a look at type B. So if I run it with type B, I can click on draw stair. Then we're just gonna click on this point, this point. Then we'll move our mouse over here. And I'm actually gonna go back in and set this. Okay, so if we do a stair B, so we're gonna click, click, double click. That's gonna create a stair with kind of a sloped bottom on it. So notice how that runs out a little bit and then up. So that's type B. So type C is fairly similar. It just doesn't drop down as much as type B. And then finally, type D is just gonna have the steps themselves with no risers framed in here. So, and then one other thing to note is if you were to run mash stair with the stair direction down, and we'll do a type B, it's gonna look something like this. So you would just start with your high end right here and it would go down. And so one of the cool things about this is this add-on allows you not only to create your stairs um, in a straight run like that, it also lets you create your stairs based on a per riser basis. So let's say we wanted to create a stair that went around this, uh, this corner or this edge. Notice how this arc has 12 segments. So we're going to use the segments of the arc for our stair. But let's say that we were to set up mesh stair so that we had 12 steps, total height, I'm still gonna go with 96 inches, and we'll go with a stair type C. And I'm gonna draw this stair. Well, this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our start point, which is right here. We're gonna single click, and then we're gonna move our mouse over here and we're gonna click. But instead of moving it in a direction and double clicking, I'm gonna click on the edges right here. So notice how what that's doing is that's actually coming in here and that's creating each one of the risers individually. So you can actually set your risers individually 
like this. And then the other cool thing about this, and I'm going to hit escape real quick. So first of all, these are live, meaning if you click wrong, you can hit escape and go back. But then over here, notice how this is actually going to let me set the points for the other side of the stair individually. So I can just come in and keep clicking like this. And notice how it's just resetting those points. And then once I click, this whole thing is set. So notice how this allowed me to easily create this spiral stair in here. And so that's probably the most powerful thing about this add-on is the ability, or this extension, is the ability that it gives you to set each step individually. So another cool feature on this is if I go to extensions, match stair, and I think this has 11, so we'll go with 11 risers like this. I'm going to click on draw stair and this time I'm going to set my width like this. I'm going to click, 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 click. But now I'm going to tap the X key right here. What that does is that adds an additional break point or an additional point in this stair that allows it to turn the corner without actually setting a step corner. So now if I click right here, I can keep going with this, right? So I can click, click, click. Well, now I can just set each one of these like this. And so what this allows you to do is this allows you to like turn corners and other things like that um, inside of the extension. So there's some other notes in here that I haven't quite figured out. So the break point is good. There's an X right here. You can also add and adjust length by adding a number in the inner key and you can repeat steps but I haven't really quite figured out exactly how those work that may be something that's in this instructional video that I haven't quite gotten to yet but I will link to the developers video right here because he gets into some pretty in-depth stuff about creating stairs with this extension so I think it's a really good one for creating stairs um, when you first look at it you're like okay this is pretty simple but you can actually create some pretty complex things by following these instructions so I will link to his video in the notes down below so that's where I'm gonna end this video leave a comment below and let me know what you thought are you interested in this extension does it do some of the things that you need it to do I just love having that conversation with you guys if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week. If you want to vote on the extension that I cover on the channel every week, make sure you check out my Patreon page. Um, I will link to that in the notes down below as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.